Roland Willits, Omen Stories. New Day and Billy Bob tells us a bad weather story. Say, Roland Willits. Roland twice. No, you give hey. your name. <laughs> Roland Willits. Billy Bob. Okay. And Old man stories. And a young man sitting beside you. What? A young man said, I got a baby sitting beside me here. <laughs> Billy Bob's my baby here. He's a, he's a youngster. So. Yeah, well, hi. How are you doing? I'm good. I'm doing good. And we're, and we're here talking about today's, today's subject is bad weather. Bad weather. Bad weather. And you have a you have a story for everything, okay? Yes, I sure do. And and you know, and Sharon probably grabbed the only one you had, but No, no, no. You may you are gonna have to dig up another one. I got another one. I'm sure she did you know, it's like <laughs> you know. <laughs> bad, bad weather is bad weather. It's bad weather. Look at bad weather in here. <laughs> uh I've been through some bad weather, and I lived in Georgia for 36 years. And one of the worst things that you you really got to face in Georgia is the lightning storms during the summertime. And thundercloud will come up, and you got electrical storms all the time without no rain. And it will knock out your phone power, computers like that all the time. And I mean, it gets get very dangerous. And you know, one time we were actually, I was sitting in my front porch, and we were, me and another guy were talking and all like this, a friend of mine. And it was a storm, and we were watching it. In fact, we were in the city. And next thing we knew, we see watched the lightning actually hit the water tower. Whoa! Yes, sir. It knocked the power completely out in the whole city. And knocked the water out. We didn't have no water. But it somehow it ran and burnt the transformer out that was right next to it, the power station. And you talk about people wondering what going on, it was a boom. They thought the, a bomb just dropped on the town. True story. But uh, you know, I've faced a lot of electrical storms. I've been in a lot of bad weather. How about fog? Oh, I've been in fog where you can even see your hands. Isn't in front that? Of you. Remember how how do you feel when you're in that kind of fog and you're driving? Man, it, it, it's so scary because I went up. In fact, I'm glad you brought that up. Uh, long time ago, I had to go up to New Jersey, and my grandmother passed away, and it got so foggy, rolling that you could not see the road in front of you. And I had to actually stop and pull over. I couldn't even find a curb the side of the road. I mean, I didn't know if anybody would come up behind me, hit me, or whatever. But when I realized I could get to the side of the curb, I stayed there until that, until the sun came up, this is night, until I could see. It was that bad that you cannot even see the road. Isn't that terrifying? Yes, sir, it is, because you don't know what's coming at uh, you. You don't know. And you don't know where you park. Uh-uh. Yes. I couldn't even see from maybe. You could have parked on a railroad track. Well, I could have parked somewhere, too. <laughs> Never know about that. <laughs> <laughs> and you hear the art. What if you heard the train when you parked on the railroad track? Oh, I would have been worried. <laughs> I've been worried. <laughs> you know, <laughs> I, I don't know about that. I would have had to listen to the whistle. Oh, okay. I got a story about that one. I'll tell you. You heard something. Oh, about the train or about the storm? About fog and the railroad track. Oh, fog? Uh, uh, fog? Well, I do have one. And, and yeah. Okay, let's hear it. Yeah, oh, I. Oh, I don't get to talk to too many people from California. So tell me about the one out there. Whether or not California is is, 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 is just the same as everywhere. They get terrible. They get storms up in the up in the mountains, and they get weather all kinds of weather, all the different parts. But this happened to be in Missoula, Montana. Missoula, Montana. We were driving through Missoula, Montana, and we had our and and and. There was, the weather actually was beautiful going over the mountains, but then you got a Missoula, then you got another little mountain range, right? It's sort of foothills. Foothills are mountains in the city. Yeah, but up north and all, we know what foothills are. To what the foothills are foothills. So Appalachians are foothills for the, for the Rockies. So the mountains. <laughs> so. So anyway, we were there, and all of a 
a sudden, they had a lightning storm. And you know the lightning storm. They have some kind, it's up in New Jersey every once in a while, where the lightning, there's just 10,000 strikes. Well, in the, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the Rockies, when you get a lightning storm, it's like lightning comes out of everywhere, and it comes in fours and fives and sixes, and oh, and our, you know, my daughter-in-law was with us at the time. She was from California, from the uh -huh. Bay Area. You don't have like you have one lightning strike. It's special. You don't have lightning strikes. Man, she was terrified. Did she ever see when they split up? Like in the yeah, she saw it all right from the front of the coach. Like there, which was like. <gasps> and then we drove. We went over the <clears throat> over the over the pass out of Mazula, and all of a sudden it got foggy. I said, I got to get off. I just, I can't even see. So I could, I could just barely, I just barely see where the edge of the road. I said, I follow the edge of the road. And I said, I have got to stop because I can't even see the road. And we stopped right there. And all of a sudden, I heard a train coming. Oh, my God. And I didn't know if I'd stopped on the railroad tracks. And it got louder and louder. And louder. <coughs> and I was just in the show. I said, I can move, but I might move out of the track. <laughs> I didn't know where I was. That, thick that was terrifying. And, and, and all of a sudden we heard it and it screamed right by us. And oh, geez. And, yeah, oh, that's right. And, and, we got, and we just sat there. Everyone in the, in the RV was shaking. And we're just sitting there and said, oh my God, we were lucky. And we waited to start clearing up. And we were right here, the step, little steps are about five feet away. We were that close to the river. Did anybody mess up? No one messed up. Okay. But, but, but uh, because I told, I, I, well, I mean, uh, we were off the track. Right, okay. I told him, I didn't have a slice that he would run. <laughs> Well, yeah, but that's still scary, that, that train being that close. Yes. Oh, I'm glad you weren't there. Yeah. Oh, thank you. See, you could have been there. You could have had that same thing when you pull up in the truth. You don't know where you're parked. Hey, you, don't, you never know. I mean, you could have been, you could have been, you could have drove right off a cliff. I mean, you don't know where you're at. In New Jersey, there are many cliffs, except on the portion. Well, you know about, you know, that super storm and all that, you know, Jersey Shore and all like that. Now they, they, yeah, yeah, they call it the Sandy Shore now. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's another, that's bad weather. <laughs> that's bad weather. Okay, well, roll on, it's in. Billy Bob here. All Men's Stories. All Men's Stories, the rest of the day should be nice weather. One more day.